guys, it's Sarah, and today is Bookless Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday, we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week, we are going to talk about some of our favorite things, but these are non-bookish. So these are not book-related necessarily, but just some things that we love, use on a regular basis, swear by, all that good stuff. Okay, my first thing is something for the kitchen. It is these slow cooker liners by Reynolds. You guys, these are crock pot liners, basically. It says slow cooker on there, but I call it the crock pot. And it's literally a big plastic bag that you line your crock pot with, and then you cook your food in it. And then when you're done, you take out the liner and you throw it in the trash. <sighs> I can't tell you how many times this has saved me from having to wash my crock pot. It's amazing. Every once in a while, I still do need to. Sometimes uh, I've gotten little holes in it I like as I'm kind of getting the stuff in the crock pot. Sometimes I can rip a hole in it depending on the type of spoon I'm using, but it's not that often. So like the ratio is very low, <laughs> if you will. So these things are fantastic. I always have them on hand. I make sure I always have them. If I use up my last one, I make sure next time I go to the store, I get a couple of these boxes. Um, there are eight come in each one and they are just fantastic. And you can get them in the aisle where like the Ziploc bags and stuff are. They're usually on the very top row. Seriously, if you cook with a crock pot, you need these. My second thing is candles. I love candles. I burn them all the time, especially at night. N nighttime is my favorite because it just gives that really warm glow and smells so good. So I love candles. I use them consistently. My favorites are definitely the Bath and Body Works. I tend to uh, buy a few of them when they go on their sales and like, you know, buy two, get one free, or if they're $10 off or something like that, I tend to stock up on their three wick candles. These are my favorites, the three wick ones. And they smell so good. Right now I am burning white pumpkin, which as of right now is my favorite. It smells so good. Even just holding it, I'm just like, oh, it smells so delicious. This, I think you can only get online though. So look on the, I'll leave a link down below. I'll leave all the stuff linked down below. But um, from what I'm remembering, I can only, you can only get this on their website. And that's what I did. And it just smells, oh my gosh. I just want to see her do this all day. It smells so good. They always have a lot of really good scents, especially around the holidays. But like that one is, mm. The next thing I have is a notepad. I am a sucker for a notebook, a journal, a notepad, post-its, anything to write my list down on because I'm a list maker, that's what I do. This one has been my favorite so far that I've been using for um, a little bit. So this just says things to do and it's got these down here and it's supposed to kind of resemble a little bit like a library card, if you will. Um, and so you can write down your to-do list here. There's a little uh, row over here to check it when you're done. I keep this on my desk and I write down my videos and I write down like the editing and the uploading process on here. So every time I film a video, I write it in here and then I have like edit and upload. So I do two check marks in these in this box because it's big enough to have two check marks in it. So when I edit it, it's done. <laughs> and then when I upload it, I check it off. So if it has two check marks, it's completely done. Only one means I only edited and I need to upload now no check marks. I need to work on that video because I haven't done anything. So I just kind of keep a running list going here. And um, it's been fantastic. And it comes like it's a thick I've used quite a few already um, pages. And like, I still have a whole lot to go. So this is gonna last me for a long time. But yeah, I think this is gonna be end up being a staple, especially for my video editing. Okay, my next thing is graphic t-shirts. I have been loving graphic t-shirts lately and my friends turned me on to jane.com, which is a website that you can get graphic t-shirts from in all sorts of different varieties and you can get them, usually they're limited. So like just for a limited time, you can get them. And I was talking to my friends and I was like, I really want some good holiday shirts. I don't have that many. Like what I wear in our unwrapping videos is what I have <laughs> basically. So I wanted some good holiday shirts because I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. So like I want to be a little more festive. And so they said, check Jane.com. They have awesome shirts. And I did. And I bought three of them. One is here and I've already worn it. Um, the other two are still in process of shipping. So I haven't gotten those yet. But one that I did purchase is this one. It says Clark and Company Eggnog Booster Cousin Eddie Blend. <laughs> um, and then there's 
a quote at the bottom there that has a bad word in it, so I won't say it on camera. But um, it's like a three-quarter sleeve, and it just it's really comfortable. So I love this, and it's got the mousse. I love that. <laughs> so I got this one, and then the other two that I got, uh, one is a Harry Potter one because, of course, I did. It's um, I'm Dreaming of a Hogwarts Christmas, and it's got Santa's sleigh going over Hogwarts. And then I also got a Christmas movie character silhouette <laughs> shirt where it's I got like a green one, and it's got different Christmas movie characters in a silhouette form and they just go across. So I'm excited to wear that one when that one comes as well because I love Christmas movies. Something, you know, me and my family always try to watch Christmas movies every year, even if we're watching the same ones. We love that. So it's been a lot of fun for that. So jane.com, definitely. And they have other things besides Christmas stuff. Obviously, they have a lot of reading ones. So if you want some good bookish ones, they have a whole bunch of those as well and all sorts of different stuff. They have some for TV shows and movies and just all sorts of things. So definitely check them out. And the last one I'm going to say is kind of bookish, but it's a podcast. I love bookish podcasts and by far my favorite has been the Currently Reading podcast. This is hosted by Meredith and Katie. They are bookish best friends <laughs> and they put out an episode every week and they're just so great. The way that they describe books makes me want to pick up books I would never normally pick up. And it has caused me to add a bunch to my wish list. It's caused me to actually pick some of them up and try to read them. And what I love about their podcast is it's completely spoiler free. They do not spoil anything. And just they're so passionate about it. And I like that their reading tastes are different. So you get a little bit from, you know, both of them, you get some different things. You get different recommendations. They talk about what they're currently reading. They talk about a deep dive topic, something surrounding the book community that they dive into and like have a discussion about. And then they do a book press. So they press books into your hands. So they do like recommendations and those can be books that they recently read or books that they loved as kids or whatever. They just pick any type of book. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. They just want to bring your attention to these books. And so they do like a book press, which I really love. I like their podcast so much that I joined their Patreon, <laughs> which is only $5 a month and you get extra episodes. They do an indie book press list, which is awesome where they work with independent bookstores to bring you a stack of recommendations and you can purchase those books through those indie bookstores. So it's really giving some love and attention to indie bookstores which is something that's very important. And that's only for their Patreons. There's a whole Facebook group. They do buddy reads. They do like all sorts of stuff. It's for $5, you're getting a lot of extra content, which I love. So um, I've been absolutely loving that podcast. It's been one of my favorite things that every time something new pops up, I get really excited. So um, I actually listened to the Indie Book Press this morning. So it was great. And yeah, that's definitely been my favorite. I do listen to some other bookish podcasts, but that one is like, Every single time there's a new one on there, I'm listening. Okay, guys, those are five things that I have really been loving lately, not necessarily bookish related, aside from the podcast. But yeah, we just wanted to share some other things that we love and adore and use on a daily basis. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know some of your non-bookish favorite things down below. What are some tried and true things that you love? What are things you can't live without? I'd love to know that. And make sure you go check out Lindsay today and see what she is going to be talking about. I'm really excited to see what some of her favorite things are. And we will see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.